Why don't I take your garbage out for you? Know, you should tell me about Rick and stop avoiding him like you have been. I haven't been doing that. When you clean voluntarily, you're avoiding the subject. Well, I guess you're right. You know that Rick and I have been seeing each other for a while now. Yes, I know. And I care about him a lot. I know that, too. And he's not my first boyfriend. Okay, Julianne. Well, Zach, what I'm trying to say is I've gone out with a lot of guys, and I know that something is an infatuation. Or something's more serious? Yes. You trying to tell me you're getting more serious about Rick? I'm trying to tell you that I'm, 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 I'm thinking of moving in with him. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Well, I just wanted to thank you and Mac for putting up the money for Felicia's bail. You don't have to thank us. Well, she's under a lot of pressure now, and, uh, well, she needs her friends. Whatever we can do. Thank you. Mitch, uh, I'm glad you came over. I've been wanting to talk to you a little bit about Matthew. You know, with everything that's been going on, I haven't even... I haven't had a chance to see him. Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. He wants to give Josie a ring. I think it's a pre-engagement ring. So does it bother you? Doesn't it bother you? No, not really. I mean, kids give kids rings. It doesn't mean that they're going to get married. I know, but they're so young to be that serious with each other. Yeah, and he and Josie haven't had an easy time of it. I mean, it seems like the families have been fighting since before they even met. I know, that's what bothers me about all of this. It's as though they feel like they're Romeo and Juliet. They're just two normal kids who like each other. Yeah, let's just let them work it out. I mean, now, especially with what's happened with, well, with Jason, it's not going to be easy on them. Yeah, I know. You know, maybe it says a lot for their maturity. They've been able to handle this mess as well as they have. Yeah, that's true, but... What? I don't know. I guess maybe it's Josie. Maybe I... I, I'm not sure she's the right lady for him. Is that what's really bothering you? I think so. She's so needy, Mitch. So what do you think is going to happen? That this situation is going to push them closer together? I think so. I don't know. And, and if it does, I don't think they'll be aware that that's what's causing it. Look, I know one thing. Matthew is almost a man. And whether we like it or not, we need to deal with him as one. I know, but I can't abandon him. No. I mean, even if this is what he thinks he wants. Look, you shouldn't have to deal with all of this by yourself. And it's just that he and I haven't had any time together. I know, but it's just temporary. I hope so. It doesn't seem like I've ever really been there when he needs me. Listen, I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about Matthew. You've got enough on your mind with Felicia right now. He'll be fine. And you'll have the rest of your life to be with Matthew. Well, I don't see how I can help you. I mean, I've told you everything I know about Felicia and about the party. And... Actually, we are more interested in your relationship with Mr. Frame. Oh, well, that's easy. I don't have a relationship with Mr. Frame. Well, we've been going over his bank records. We know you made some large payments to him. Can you tell us about that? What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. We are just investigating his contacts, personal and uh, otherwise. Well, Jason did work for Corey Publishing for the spa years. Yes, but why weren't those checks made out to frame construction? And why were deposits made to his personal account? <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea. Mrs. Wheeler, it's in your best interest to cooperate. I'm sure you realize that. Yes, of course I do. Uh... Oh, drink? Oh, no, thank you. Um, now let me see. Yes. Jason did receive some additional checks. And they were made out to him personally. I wanted to make sure that everything went smoothly for my father's sake. Well, I think you're going to have to explain that. Well, uh, let me see. There was a... There has been a long history of antagonism between the Corys and the Frames. I'm sure you already know that some years ago, Rachel killed Janice Frame. Yes, but that was, uh in self-defense, wasn't it? Oh, yes, but nevertheless, Jason has always had this hatred for Rachel. In fact, he's had a vendetta for the whole family, ever since he came back to live in Bay City. I wasn't here at the time, but, I mean, he even tried to implicate my father in murder, and then Miss there was Miss Wheeler, where is this heading? I mean, 
I'm sorry, but I was trying to help. I thought maybe you might find a revenge a motive. Please, go on. Well, uh, let me see. The, the families are still linked. Uh, Jamie, that's Rachel's son. He's really a frame, even though my father raised him. And Matthew, Rachel's youngest son, well, he's sort of involved with Josie. Yes, but Mrs. Wheeler, how do you fit into all this? Well, when I came back to Bay City, I, I was very distressed by all the suffering that my family were going through, and I, I wanted to put an end to it, and I, I tried to get Jason to stop those assaults. I mean, I wanted peace, and... Oh, but he wasn't interested. He just wanted the money. So you gave it to him? Yes, I did. I wonder, is there anyone that can back up your story? Uh, oh, perhaps you could... You could talk to Evan Bates. He assisted me in those arrangements. Yes, we'll do that. Oh, I hope my father doesn't have to know about this, does he? I don't see why he should have to. Um, not at this point. Thank you. Oh, would you mind if I asked you a question? Well, that depends on what it is. Okay. The district attorney has charged Felicia with murder, right? So why are you investigating things like, well, like, like Jason's contract? Well, it's not an open and shut case. If there's anybody else who wanted Jason dead, we certainly want to know about it. Oh, well, I... What? what? Nothing. Well, you were just about to say something there. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it, I shouldn't have... It's just, just conjecture. We would still like to know what you're thinking. Look, I, I'd rather not say. Miss Wheeler, a man is dead. You should tell us everything that could relate to the case. Yes. Well, of all the people who dislike Jason, you know, I, I hate to say this, but of all the people who dislike Jason, Rachel disliked him the most. There's nothing to worry about. I will talk to Matthew. Okay, I'll work on it. Give our love to Felicia, okay? Okay. Mr. Bates is here to see you. Oh, hello, Evan. Uh, would you get Mr. Blake's coat, please? Yes. What's up? Uh, these papers need your signature, and I decided to bring them over in person. Okay, thank you. Hi, Mitch. I just want to say that I am really sorry about this Felicia thing, and I just hope it straightens out quickly. Well, I did too. Thank you. I will see you later. Okay, keep us posted, all right? I will. Okay. You and Mitch are friends? Yes. Well, I guess we've worked at becoming friends. We share a son in common. Actually, we share quite a bit in common, which is one of the reasons I'm so upset about Felicia. There was something in the paper about you and another frame. Yes. Don't you think you should fill me in on that? Why? Well, the reporters are calling my office a lot now, and I just think I should know what to tell them in case they ask me about Janice Frame's death. 